Hello, my beautiful people. Now, welcome back again to my channel. Now, maybe the worry get I don't come with another Ogbon get one. Yes, if today not the first time when you they call my channel, I beg oh, you are welcome. Thank you so much. Say you see this channel today. I appreciate you. And for now, one another come since I beg, one another forget. Eh? The love to the mercy for now. God go bless on now. But God go run on a matter for now. So my people now, because I don't want to take on a time. Oh, yes, make we enter. So today, I go to talk about one of our hmm, traditional ruler, you know. Now, female traditional ruler, I go to talk about today. Okay, from on those states. So my people, I want to make on a state soon. I beg eh, this video eh, na. I say, make her enter. Her Royal Majesty, Muyi Oluwa Olubumi Falowo, she is the traditional head of Ibule Shoro Kingdom, a community situated in Ife Dore, local government area of Ondo State, Nigeria. The Ibule Shoro Kingdom is a big empire. It is a home to the acclaimed Federal University of Technology, Akure, and Ondo State University of Science and Technology, where she holds a Bachelor of Technology in Microbiology. So my people, I go just give on a small summary, then I go to tell on some kind of facts about this, our Royal Majesty. So make on a Listen. In April 2019, following the de demise of her father, who was the king, she took up the role of regency and she is to rule as king until the kingmakers will select the next king to rule over the affairs of the kingdom according to traditions. And as since she has championed many development projects in the interest of her people. You know, my people, consider the fact that she's a Christian. You, you they get what they, are, they talk. You know, one would just wonder why she was chosen to pilot the affairs of her kingdom over her other brothers, who everyone knew were supposed to be chosen as nest of king, you know, to the throne of their father. My people, eh, see, Mona, wait first. So. Normally, eh, as per traditional right, eh, if the king married two wives or three wives, now the first wife, he boy picking neither they do it, that they crown as the crown prince. Why the second wife, when be like say, na I born girl, now that senior picking neither go do it, they will come crown as princess. Share they get. I will not be so, my people, but paraventure you come across this video. And you, you be from on those states, or you be your own person. When will I say in no eba culture and tradition? Let us know for the comment section how did they select the crown prince or princess for on our side. Make we first do it here from Ona. So make we continue. One, she is the only female child of her mother and was the crown princess of her kingdom before she became king at 24 years old. So this is one fact about her that you must know. According to one of her interview, when she was interviewed by Porsche after her coronation, you know, she made uh, one statement. I will just quote her. According to her royal majesty, she said, he said, in our tradition, being a crown prince does not automatically make you an heir to the throne, as it is open to contest from the ruling families, and the kingmakers are always skeptical of making a crown prince the regent, as he might become power drunk and refuse to exit the stage when the time comes to do so. And I happen to be the only female child of my mother, and so became the crown princess and regent. So this was our words, okay? So it's very clear from here the reason why they decided to make her to be the crown uh, king instead of the older ones, you know? And according to what a lot of people say about her, she has experience. I'm still coming to that. So the number two fact you must know about her is that, you know, she wears me traditional outfits. 
Yes, that is one thing she know about her, you know. As required by her role, she wears male traditional outfit. She refers to a male king as though she is her father. She rules in his place. And what they see is a man. And this brings me to the next point, you know. <laughs> Number three. Her royal majesty cannot get pregnant because she is not seen as a female. Hmm. My people, this one he get as a bio. Ha. This one and eh, another big, eh, you understand? Because this particular point, eh, now this one go make some people to say, I beg eh, when I use and give another person. Show you the get with here they talk. So my people, for this reason, you know, like she no go feel born no. As far as she's still there for that post, eh? She no go feel do it born because for their place now abomination. You get me? And another thing, my people, hmm. According to their tradition, she no fee carry anything for her head or even open her head, and she no go feel need that for anybody when senior, you know, not just normal thing for anywhere na say be as the king when be like say she be. So this one eh, mm, na be the part eh, when not easy for the whole thing when she they do so because as every woman when be like say. You know, you don't already come of age. One thing when you go, they think, and I say, man, I want born. She they get me. For, for her now, eh? nothing like that, they happen for her side. So my people, more talk about another fact about this, our royal majesty. Our royal majesty, the number four point I'll be talking about today is that our royal majesty never took part in any fetish activities before coronation. And she was never asked to do that by the chiefs, you know. You know, my people, be an ardent uh, Christian, a royal majesty will not like uh, part with her faith or a holy Bible, even as she sits on a traditional stool. My people, as we all know, before that they crown anybody to be king, it gets a kind of fetish things when they, they do it, that they do before the coronation. Nobody will know, no, you understand. As per tradition and culture, the reason is because she don't already state a position and decline anything when be like say it concern fetching things before, during, or after the coronation. And the chiefs them agree with her, and as so, hmm, and as so she the ruler people they go like this. Jen, jen, jen. As far as her kingdom is concerned, you know, no human authority is above her, so she has. Like she have that authority and she has maintained that her kingdom, you know, and throw a subject only to authority from God. You they get some that is uh, not be smart, you know. So, more talk about the number 15, you know. One fact you must know about her, you know, she is a rural community advocate and an instrument of positive change in the society, yes. Yeah, so from the pictures on Agodesi, she's an experienced and respected traditional ruler with a demonstrated history of working in the community system. You get what you are to suck, you know? So, I don't want to talk much about this. So for my next video, I get a lot of things when I go talk. So, make her not load this video too much. So, my people, another thing about her that you don't know let me say it all. this one eh, i think is after the pregnancy one this one comes in you know the duration of our rulership is unknown this one my people another thing that is not certain about her sitting on that throne as the king of Ibule Shoro kingdom is the fact that the duration of her rulership is unknown as the king makers, they are yet to present a new king. This one means say she will still be on that throne, like until they are able to crown another king. You they get me. So now the problem won't be that too. I don't see as a problem anyway, you know. So nobody know her mind, but this is just it. So my people, this is not an easy taxi. Considering the fact that she's limited in some aspect, like getting married and even having her own kids, you know, my people, how long do you think it will take for the kingmakers to crown a new king? I'm asking. Let me say, for instance, 
the gods uh it took them like 30 years for them to choose or for another king to emerge as a custodian of the culture and the traditions of your people will you change the tradition to enable you get married and have your own kids on the throne you know it's a taboo for her to have kids on the throne right so that is number one will you step down if this continue up to 30 years please let us know your thoughts in the comment section so that we go relate because this thing eh, you know they is you not the way you see amo if now me i go change the tradition Safe woman sit down there. I beg her, make it cook my marriage get better. Oh, bump you know because for me I no go fit. So what do you think about this whole matter? What till you go change to to suit the way the thing day? If now you go step down, I be go just change the thing may suit you. What till I think about this? I beg if you never subscribe to my channel, may subscribe. I go see you now for another video. Ona bye bye.